other times I say, you know what, uh, I want to just get better in this area, not try to stick to a hard resolution. I think resolutions that come from nowhere, they kind of end in, in nowhere really quick. So my thing is to try to find something, get better with it during the year, but not just because uh, the New Year's coming around. But you got to love New Year's. And uh, in saying that, I'm going to eat a little bit better this year. I got my guts. Here's my resolution. Let's do more games together. How's that sound? Oh, I love it. I'm in for that one. I'm on with you. <laughs> <laughs> now let's take a look at the starters for New Orleans. Holiday at the one and Reddick at the two. Williams is out there with Favors, and it's Ingram, and at the three, the small forward. And for the Lakers, LeBron and Green make up the backcourt. JaVale McGee is out there with Anthony Davis, and it's Caldwell Pope, and at the small forward. And so the Los Angeles Lakers get the first points of the ballgame. Ingram dishes to Holiday. Five to shoot. Takes the three. A shot, no good. Great D that time from James. About one minute into the first quarter. Misses that one. He's 0 for 1 from the floor. And so Holiday will bring it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. With some arc. And it's good on the way-in. Oh, even from that range, the floater is one of the toughest shots in the game. Green passes to McGee. He dishes it to LeBron. Back to McGee. Los Angeles needs to get off a shot here. That shot by Caldwell Pope, no good. That's high quality defense right there. Read the situation, reacting, and making that a very tough jump shot. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. Holiday against James. Shot from 12. The shot by Holiday, no good. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. Excellent D. Avoiding fouling and gotten the perfect position to alter the shot. Caldwell poked the bounce pass. Davis up top. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And guys, at this point in his career, Anthony Davis just entering his prime. Crazy to think when you look at what he's already accomplished thus far. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Shooting two. throw good Davis and we are talking about Anthony Davis how do you even put into words Greg what he is able to do on the basketball floor I mean he's entering the conversation among the best big men of all time on a nightly basis dominating in so many facets of the game really it's remarkable and so he's able to get one of two the Pelicans have gone two for four from the field so far today Reddick Great D that time from Green. For Los Angeles, they've gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Holiday against James. Caldwell Pope outside. Los Angeles with another miss. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Rebound the Lakers. It's not easy to keep him from converting those. I mean, the D has to be airtight. Pass to McGee. Back to James. Shoots over Reddick. That one rolling around and rims out. They're struggling here early. One for five now. The D has them bottled up so far. 
It's Ingram on the wing. He's guarded by Davis. It's good. And Ingram with those long strides devouring the distance to the cup. Lakers trail by three. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. James right side. Count it. Well, he doesn't play around. If the buck is there for him, he's going to get it. And here's Redick. He'll bring it up for New Orleans. Their last encounter was in New Orleans. And turnovers were the story for them when they saw each other last. I mean, just a heartbreaking way to lose the game. Now, here is Holiday. He had 25 points in the win against Houston. It's been a really tough quarter for him. I mean, he cannot get his shots to drop. And Caldwell Pope gets the basket. Oh, and Caldwell Pope is not shy about letting it fly, about getting one up. Such a nice throw. Outside, Redick. He feeds it to Williams. It's stolen by Davis. And Crean slams it in. Well, that's why they're in front. Uh, aggressive play at both ends. Nicely done. Holiday against LeBron. Over James. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That's on LeBron James. It definitely has the respect of the locker room. Holiday is someone that players enjoy playing with. And with LeBron James managing to extend his prime, the pressure is on this Lakers organization to make the most of it. Yeah, you're right, G.A. I mean, it's the kind of pressure you want, though. I mean, getting those superstar players is the hard part. Finding that supporting cast, that's the hard work part. Free throw, good holiday. A whole new cast of characters for the Pelicans. Three promising first round picks, Greg, and the young players acquired from the Lakers and veterans like Favors and Reddick. All of a sudden, a wealth of options for Alvin Gentry. Time will tell how they did in the AD trade, but seems like they're off to a nice start. That one misses. Not the most productive quarter he'll ever have, but his shot selection's been a little bit. And the slam dunk by McGee. Yeah, by McGee's teammates lob it up his way because they know he can go up and get it. Holiday, the pass to Favors. Now here's Reddick. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. Yeah, yeah, and that's what I'm talking about. I mean, the D is worrying too much about the other four guys. I mean, they can't give him open jump. Now here is McGee. An 11-point game for him in the win against Dallas. And Derek Favors picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. The Lakers making a switch here. Howard's checked in. And the Pelicans also making a change. Josh Hart, he's checked in for J.J. Redick. Davis finds James. Back to Davis. Down to five on the shot clock. Two points. That one goes. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Holiday against LeBron. Out to Ingram. From 17 feet out, here's Favors. And he battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. Now, with all the intensity he plays with, boxing him out is a chore. A tough one. Green taking his time here. And here is Howard. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Dallas. Here's Davis. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. Davis for two. James has got three assists tonight. Oh, fantastic vision. I mean, LeBron always cognizant of everyone around him. Now, here is Holiday. 
And you know the points will always be there for him. He's averaging just a shade under 20 points a game right now. Out to Ingram. New Orleans moving the ball around. Here's Williams. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. The shoe culture becoming a bigger part of the game. Signature shoes, custom shoes, collections. P.J. Tucker with over 4,000 pairs of shoes. C. Weber, you a collector? I love it, and it's all because of the Jordan phenomenon. What Michael Jordan did for the game, not just with the shoe, but what he did for the game and making it be so cool in the culture. I, I got to give uh, my boys in Michigan, I got to give us a little credit, too, uh, with what we did there. But the shoe game has definitely become something that's just crazy out of control. I love it, but no, yeah, I'm a little bit of a collector. <laughs> Here's what the Lakers are going with right now. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for Contavious Caldwell Pope. Avery Bradley comes in for Green. And Quinn Cook subbed in for James. And Williams drops them both. Here is Cook. He kicks to Howard. to Kuzma and stolen by Williams. The pass to Hayes. Ball with it. Six to shoot. Passes it to Hart. Over Bradley. And again, New Orleans has no luck. For Los Angeles, they've gone 7 of 11 for the field to begin the game. Kuzma passes to Howard. There's the dish to Cook. Count that one. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. For Los Angeles, they have converted one of two free throws so far today. And 74% has been the mark for them on the season thus far. Each one more is checked in Let's for stop. Williams. Pelicans trail by five. Here's Hart. No points in the game yet for him. Great tee that time from Davis. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. Yeah, Greg, that's just great defense. Forcing his man into a difficult attempt. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. In the foul on Avery Bradley. That's his first, first, that's his first foul. Now, ball. What a tremendous game he played against Houston. Pass to Hart. The three. Good on the triple. This is just a trademark of Hart's game. A solid three-point sniper who looks to shoot from wherever he can. Cook the pass to Howard. Left side, Davis. Fades. It's rebounded by Hayes. And, and, Kevin, they need to be consistent with their effort on the boards. You look at the box score, and they're at a definite disadvantage. Now, here's Ball. Looking at his point production, he averages almost 11 points a game. Has to Moore. Let's it go with a three. First person foul. Lakers leading by four. Here is Cook. Dishes to Davis. On the trade for Anthony Davis, a risk for the Lakers, but they feel, Greg, that both sides will find an extension this offseason. There is mutual interest from both sides. Lakers made the trade confident Davis would resign. A bit of a leap of faith, but the Lakers did everything they could to secure Davis long term. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots.
And the first one at the line is good. And both free throws good for Davis. Great value in rim projection, Chris. Talk about some of the characteristics that you have seen and you use yourself in being a good shot blocker. Well, your reputation precedes you as a shot blocker. So as a shot blocker, you've already blocked enough shots that everyone knows, hey, I'm Rudy Gobert. Don't come here in here unless you want to get that shot swatted out of the way. My name's Joel Embiid. Did you see my highlights of last game? So really what I'm saying is a shot blocker is always in your thought process. I still have nightmares about Matumbo. Come on. Let's, I bet. Go to the next. Go to the next one, please. Come on. Come on. Get on shot blocker. Here is Cook. The pass to Davis. Kicks it out to Bradley. Drills it from outside. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. Here's Hart, guarded by Bradley. Knocked away. Passes it to Moore. Ball with it. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Four on the clock. Shot on the wing. And he can't bank that one in. They hold the early advantage on the glass. 107 left in the first. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Pass to Hart. Has to more. Kuzma with the defensive effort. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. Well, that's why he's out there right now. In situations like this, he stands tall to prevent points. Now here is Howard. And looking at his production, he averages a little more than seven points a game. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. And the foul on Avery Bradley. Avery Bradley. That's foul number two for him. Already his second foul. He's in danger of getting into serious foul trouble early in this game. And some changes here for the Lakers. Alex Crusoe comes in for Bradley. Rajon Rondo subbed in for Cook. New Orleans also making some changes. Okafor comes in for Hayes. And it's Jackson in for Hart. Okafor gets the bucket. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. On the wing, Davis. Launches it. Caruso, no good. So it's Los Angeles. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. We're feeling very kind. Uh, the words of a leader. James has proven time and time again that he's dangerous in late game situations. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And taking a look at Los Angeles' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing? You got to credit their defense, communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. No question. It's been stifling thus far, preventing that offense from establishing any kind of rhythm. So the Pelican five right now. They've got each one more. Jackson is out there with Lonzo Ball. Then there's Jaleel Okafor, and it's Melly in at the four. And, you know, he's proven to be capable at, at sinking that mid-range jump shot. Uh, Rondo has to be respected from that part of the floor. Now, here's Ball. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Okafor trying to get open. That one's good. The Laker lead has got down to nine in the bucket from Ball. Oh, no hesitation to get it to the rim. He uses his height advantage to convert the easy. Kuzma passes to Howard. Here's Caruso. Trying to find Davis. He's got it now. And it's good for two. Davis has got 11. If there's a list of the best inside scorers in the NBA, Davis has got to be right at the top. When he gets his hands on the ball down low, 
you might as well just count it. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Alder. Well, Kevin, DeMarcus Cousins suffered an Achilles injury, and it was a major setback for him, but it was also an eye-opener. Cousins said any given day could be your last day playing. All the celebrity, all the fame ends. My love for the game has grown, but at the same time, I want to be more than just a basketball player. And Kevin, challenges can put anything into perspective. Thank you, D.A. Here's Rondo. Quarter number two, we're about two minutes in. And the pass to Kuzma. He's off on that one. And it's the Pelicans taking it the other way. Inside, here's Jackson. Banked in off the glass. And now just a five-point Laker lead. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Passes to Howard. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. To the middle, here's Caruso. Whistle blows, bucket is good, and he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Oh, improving his floor awareness. Howard has a decent sense for when his guys are open. For Los Angeles, they have only one missed free throw. They've had five attempts and made four of them. Looking at who's out there now for the Lakers. James checked in for Howard, and it's Contavious Caldwell-Pope in for Kyle Kuzma. On the free throw, no good. Well, if teams are getting shaken up a bit, coach is usually the first to go, get fired. Do you think teams get too trigger happy with that aspect, coach first, and, and then looking at the team? Yeah, I, I do. Um, but, but unfortunately, if you're the head of, of the team, and that's, that's the responsibility, and, and that's kind of uh, that's, that's your job, to take all of the heat. Uh, being a coach is such a thankless job. You don't get thanked unless uh, you win the championship. If not, it's like, uh, good job, okay. We don't care about the fires you put out. We don't care about the players you develop. We don't care about the chemistry you built. It didn't win. And so, yeah, coaches are usually the first to go, and it's unfair. But hopefully uh, they have some connections and they have a good resume because they'll be back around somewhere else. They'll pop up somewhere else. They sure will. Here's Ingram following the three by the Lakers. Back to Holiday. Caldwell Pope against Favors. The shot, no good. Caldwell Pope with some nice D. Feeds it to LeBron. And there it is for him. And now a 10-point Laker lead. Oh, he's just super efficient when he's close to the rim. James is like a master at knowing which way to take it. They get a hand on it. Rondo with the steal. And here comes the break. Here's Caruso. And another three for the Lakers. That's his second three-pointer of this quarter after not getting any in the first. Rondo against Holiday. Ingram outside. To halt the run, trains the three-pointer. Ingram's got five points now in the quarter. Yeah, they've raised their shooting percentage in this quarter, and they're starting to get on track. Caldwell Pope finds James, and there's the defensive three-second call. Los Angeles shooting their seventh free-throw attempt here. And that one misses. A championship standard in L.A. with the Lakers. The expectations will always be high. Oh, yeah, Jay, you've been there with me. I mean, we both looked up in the Raptors and seen those 16 championship banners up there. I mean, with LeBron James in the fold, the expectation is to get to 17, 18, 19. Now, here's LeBron. He had 13 points in the win against Dallas. Amazing. Look at his free throw numbers. I mean, this shows you how much pressure he put on the defense. Now, Reddick, after LeBron's three-pointer that didn't go. And Reddick kicks to Ingram. 
outside Holiday. Six on the shot clock. Not loose. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Rondo. And checking out the numbers for Contavious Caldwell Pope. His last 10 games, he's putting up 13 points a game, two assists, and two rebounds. He's been making the right decisions and, and letting the game come to him. Solid play all around. Yeah, GA, I like it because he's not overcomplicating things. I mean, he's just playing to his strengths and taking what the defense gives him. Here is Favors. Last game he had 12. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Okafer's got it back down to a single-digit deficit for the Pelicans. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. Caldwell Pope against Ingram. Caldwell Pope kicks to Caruso. Five on the clock. Fires from the wing. Here's McGee. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Favors has got six rebounds in the game. Count it in the Laker lead. has been cut down to six in the bucket from Ingram. Ingram's got 11 points. Nice concentration from the slithery swing man. Ingram looking very confident when he scores like this. Caruso, the pass to LeBron. And he can't stop the run as he misses. He's been off the mark, but somehow he hasn't held him back as a team. The shot's good. And now just a four-point Los Angeles lead. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Pass to McGee. He lobs up the alley-oop pass. Throws down the alley-oop slam. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. The wing holiday. Again, the Pelicans score. Here's Caruso. They lead by four. Here's the teardrop, and it's good on the way up. He's got ten. He's finally coming around, trying to make up for that goose egg he put up in the first quarter. Green against Reddick. Holiday dishes to Okafor. Lock at six. Pass to Reddick. Over Green. Here's Favors. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's on JaVale McGee. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. Pelicans shooting their fifth and six free throws of the game. And in terms of team numbers, uh, the free throw percentage is right at 74. And he knocks down the first one. Avery Bradley, he's checked in for the Lakers. Quinn Cook comes in for Alex Caruso. The Pelicans also changing it up. Hayes, he's checked in for Okafor. And it's Josh Hart in for Brandon Ingram. And so Favors nails both of them. Now here's James. He's a guy that can score, no doubt, averaging over 25 points a game. Outside Brent. Back to LeBron. Let's it fly. McGee. Pelicans pull it in. Favors has got his eighth rebound here tonight. Here's Hart. And it's Hayes in the corner. Shot clock at five. Tipped away. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot before second violation. Let's get some information from the 2K leaderboard. In about the last 10 games in the NBA, during that span, these teams have the most second-chance points in the league. 
in third, the Pelicans. <laughs> really something to see. Their effort on the offensive glass has just led to so many second chance opportunities. Kenrich Williams, he's checked in for New Orleans. Now here's James. Down low, here's Bradley. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. LeBron's got six assists in the game. And here's Redick. He'll bring it up for New Orleans. They trail by six. And Greg, when you evaluate Avery Bradley, the offense isn't what it once was. But the defense is certainly still there. Oh, that was a strong dunk. That's why you go home. Oh, come on. Hall of Fame athleticism and ability. James has no problem throwing it down and stop. Holiday against James. Here's Hart. Outside, Reddick. Knocks down the three ball. Reddick's got James. seven points in the game. Uh, doesn't get any better than this. Reddick's confidence is what allows him to be so dangerous off the pitch. McGee, the pass to James. Takes the 13-footer. It's rebounded by Hayes. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. Redick bounce pass. And here's Hayes. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Shoots over McGee. He clangs that one off the back iron and down it falls. Now, just a three-point Laker lead. James looking it over. Outside Bradley. Outside Green. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Hayes. And one thing you can say about Green, I don't know of too many players who are as dependent on their three-point shot as he is. He needs that shot to be falling for him to make an impact. Shooting two. That's good from Green. Some changes for the Lakers. It's White Howard. He's checked in for JaVale McGee. And Kyle Kuzma's subbed in for James. New Orleans also making some changes. Etwan Moore, he's checked in for Redick. And it's Lonzo Ball in for Drew Holiday. And both free throws good for Green. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. Here's Hart, guarded by Green. The pass to Hayes. Pulls up from the corner. Will not go. This is off the front eye. Lakers leading by five. And the wide open shot from Green. No good on the three. New Orleans has gone three of six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. Pass the ball. There's 57 seconds left in the first half of basketball. With the teardrop, that one falls. Ball's got four this quarter. This is able to keep this balance even while getting hit. I mean, ball absorbs contact very well. Outside, Green. To the inside, Kuzma. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Kuzma's got his second basket of the night. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Here's Hayes. The Lakers with the rebound. They want to keep it rolling here following the win against Dallas. Yeah, I mean, we saw them do a little bit of everything in that game. Showed a lot of versatility. Yeah, the offense looked cohesive last night. Whatever challenge the opposition presented, well, they answered with confidence. More outside, and the foul called on Danny Green. That is his first foul of the game. Substitution. Out 
Nine seconds left now here in the second. Now ball. Three-pointer. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Lakers lead by five to this third quarter. As we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. LeBron and Green make up the backcourt. Anthony Davis is out there with Caldwell Pope, and it's McGee in at the five. That's the Laker five. And Holiday kicks to Reddick. No good with the triple. Offensive breakdown, and they can't capitalize. He'll hit that shot almost every time. That shot by Caldwell Pope, no good. Pelicans trail by five. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, over the last few years, there's been a lot of talk about seeding playoff teams 1 through 16, regardless of conference. Now, taking the top 16 teams is a tough sell, especially for owners whose teams are in the relatively weaker Eastern Conference. Taking eight teams from each conference and then cross-seeding earlier than the finals is something that does seem possible down the road. The reward for fans might be a finals matchup with the two best teams in the league. Kevin? Interesting ideas. David, thank you. Outside Holiday, just four to shoot. No good that time. Good D by James. I don't know if it's been the main factor, but his off night has definitely been one factor here. Man, when the ball's in his hands, that's as high percentage as it gets. It's just a fluke miss. Ingram passes to Holiday. Here's Reddick. It's good, the assist that time from Holiday. Nine points for J.J. Reddick. And you gotta love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grinded-out game. James with it, out guarded by Ingram. And LeBron James gets it to go. James has got eight points. And the ball handling moves of James are sensational. Effortlessly slicing through the D with his quickness. Holiday with it. He's got five. Reddick finds Holiday. Some nice passing here by New Orleans. Outside for Reddick. Shoots. Williams trying to break free. The Lakers with the rebound. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Next matchup, they'll be home against the Suns. And Caldwell Pope gets the basket. Uh oh, man. I love how Caldwell Pope uses his muscle on the drive, just bouncing off the defense and nailing some pretty difficult shots. The kick out to Holiday. Back to Reddick. Over Green. Misses off the left iron. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. Now, how about breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dog? <laughs> a nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. Pass to Favors. It's stolen by Green. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have gone. LeBron James on the wing, guarded by Holiday. LeBron passes to Davis. Some solid defense from Ingram. Pelicans trail by 11. It's Reddick on the wing, guarded by Green. Knocks it loose. Reddick dishes to Favors. Shot clock at six. New Orleans needs to get off a shot. Sinks the three-pointer. Ingram's got 14 points for the game. Cool under pressure. Ingram showing his poise with time running low. LeBron outside. Caldwell Pope outside. Back to James. Here's McGee and the slam dunk by McGee. Specialty of McGee's. I mean, he's a high activity guy. He's opportunistic on the offensive glass. 
LeBron against Holiday. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. This last season, the Thunder became the final NBA team to reach an agreement for jersey sponsorships. Have you gotten used to seeing those patches on the various jerseys around the league? You know what, Kevin? I have. And they're not as intrusive as I thought. I was so, Me too. Man, Kevin, I, I agree. I, yeah, I was so scared of this. I thought it was going to ugly up the jerseys and be bigger than the team logo and things like that. But you know how great this league is when, when, it, <laughs> when it comes to getting messages out to their fans and promotion. And so uh, we've done a wonderful uh, job. And uh, actually some I, I really, really like how they fit the jersey, how the colors matches, and, and the history of the company, actually. So, no, I, I think they've done a great job kind of uh, just making sure it just slides in there uh, not taking away the shine from the team looking at who's out there now for the Lakers Alex Caruso comes in for Danny Green Rajon Rondo subbed in for JaVale McGee LeBron outside that one a little long Pelicans trail by eight Outside for Jackson. Releases. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Assist goes to Holiday's got five assists tonight for Los Angeles. They've gone even five of ten on shot attempts in the third. And it's Rondo penetrating. Count that bucket. It's underrated, but Rondo possesses terrific strength. Even when you get the contact, he has a way of being able to create and finish shots. And some great moments for Rajon Rondo helped Boston to a title back in 2008. And as we know, he's a four-time All-Star. Yeah, one of the most honorary, toughest, and smartest players in the league. He devours films. I mean, he makes his son watch film. You, you see that his four-year-old son is watching film with him. What's going on, man? But he's made it clear. Once his playing days are done, he wants to be an NBA coach. And there's no denying that Rondo is a wizard with the ball. Exceptional at exploiting holes in the defense. Now here is Holiday. He's got seven. Fires from deep. Out of bounds, Pelicans ball as New Orleans keeps possession. Now that we have a second, let's take a quick peek at the rebounding numbers for the last handful of seasons for Ball. It's a concerning trend for him. Uh, whether he's lost some strength or, or just isn't putting in as much effort on the glass as he used to, he's not rebounding nearly as effectively anymore. And that's something that needs to change. That one's in there. The Lakers' lead is cut to just seven on the basket from Drew Holiday. For Los Angeles, they've gone a solid 6 of 11 when shooting here in the third quarter. Davis kicks to James. Back to Davis. And they double up Davis. There's the feed to Caldwell Pope. Shades over Ingram. And there's Caldwell Pope. That's good on the assist by Davis. That's now eight points for Contavious Caldwell Pope. Jackson looking it over. Pass to Holiday. Favors inside. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Sinks that one from the post. Lakers leading by seven. Rondo passes to LeBron. And it's Ingram with the rebound. Ingram's got four rebounds in this game. Holiday goes in. And how about the numbers here for LeBron James? Averaging 25 points per, 11 assists, and 7 rebounds. And the phrase, stats don't lie, absolutely applies here. He's been a monster on the court for this team. Uh, he's oozing with confidence. I mean, and it shows. Every time he steps on the floor, he expects to Take a dominate. Break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls, and Los Angeles with some changes. Dwight Howard, he's checked in for Davis. Kyle Kuzma comes in for Contavious Caldwell Pope, and it's Avery Bradley in for Alex Caruso. Oh, 
Both free throws, good from Drew Holiday. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. Bradley kicks to Rondo. Here's Kuzma. They look to him for part of their offensive attack. Right now, he averages nearly 12 points a game. Six on the shot clock. Rondo passes to Howard. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. But focus from the veteran. Howard is used to the physical contact. He's welcome to the chance to score through it. And even though Chris Dwight Howard won't be logging the 35-plus minutes he once did, he is still a factor when he's on the floor. Oh, yeah, Kevin. You, you better pay attention to Dwight. He, he can still hurt you with any touch he gets around the basket. I like seeing him in short bursts where you can force the opposing team to uh, adjust to him inside. That's good from Howard. I love watching Howard still doing his thing out there. A nightly double-double threat. Rondo against Ball. Floats one. Good D by Howard. And it's Rondo with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Yeah, he doesn't need invitation. Bradley's going to pull up and pull the trigger anytime the shot's there for him. Hart kicks to Okafer. Ball against Rondo. Here's Hart. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's going to be on Avery Bradley. And four years of Villanova for Josh Hart. Won the title back in 2016. Uh, he just makes winning plays. Uh, hits perimeter shots. And the 30th pick in 2017, he has been solid. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. And Hart has all the tools to be a great role player for a long time, especially defensively where he's been simply excellent already. The Pelicans making a switch here. Hayes is checked in. one falls so he hits both of them Los Angeles leading by eight LeBron left shot makes it off the glass LeBron's got four points this quarter and with the lead I like the strategy here continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it oh I do too Greg you have to go to your best scores I mean it's a smart strategy and so far it's paying off in this game and not just a long-range gunner, but Keetron Moore, also blessed Greg, one of the NBA's best floaters. I mean, he takes a lot of those mid-range shots, those floaters in the lane, and makes them more often than not. For a player standing 6'4", the ability to finish inside, providing that, that counterbalance to his three-point shooting. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. That misses, so he splits the free throws. Los Angeles leading by nine. Rondo passes to James. Over Moore. And LeBron with the basket, the assist by Rondo. And that's 12 points for LeBron. And when you're open, Rondo finds you. Always has his head on a slip. Here's Ball. That shot is off. Bradley with some nice D. Now here's Rondo. Guarded close. And he's able to get it back. Rondo against Ball. 
in, he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Uh, and, and that's the toughness from Ball, accepting the punishment and powering through it like a champ. And for all the drama surrounding Lonzo Ball's entrance into the NBA, one thing is for certain, he can play. And Lonzo will always have the media attention, but the fact is he is a very talented player. His playmaking and passing was as elite as advertised from day one, starting to find his spots on how he can score for lane. himself. But everything else with his game is what you'd want from an elite point guard. On the free throw, no good. Well, he's an all-around player. Lonzo's combination of size and playmaking ability in his position is truly unique. Kept alive. And he's got to do a better job making the D pay for their mistakes. A floater. Kuzma pulls it in. Lakers leading by nine. Now the pass to Cook. Here's Kuzma. He's covered by Ball. Six to shoot. Kuzma kicks to James. Over Hart. Nice shot by James. LeBron's got eight here in the quarter. He's got the hot hand right now. As long as he can keep getting open, they've got to keep feeding him. Here's Hart, guarded by Bradley. Moore against Kuzma. Moore passes to Hayes. Back to Moore. From deep three-point range. And it's LeBron James with the rebound. James has got four rebounds now tonight. To the paint. Stolen by Ball. Here's Hart. He has five. Melly passes to Hayes. James against Moore. Passes it to Melly. Some nice passing here by New Orleans. Here's Hayes. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Kyle Kuzma picks one up. At the line for the Falcons. Hayes. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And he can't hit the second. And they've only got a slight edge on the boards, but it, it just feels a lot bigger. Here's LeBron and the dunk by James. I, I like to say I'm blown away, but honestly, with LeBron, a game like this, it's just, it's just par for the course. Back to ball. 59 seconds left to play here in the third. And Hayes kicks the ball. Unloads. That's good on the jump shot. Ball's got four points this quarter. The jump shot continues to evolve. Encouraging when, when you see Ball train. And they double up James. And here's Kuzma to the inside. Cook, good. Cook's got his second bucket of the night. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. Ball, the pass to Hayes. Here's Hart, guarded by Bradley. Hart kicks the ball. Back to Hart. Shoots over Bradley. Hart, no good. James outside. In the corner, Bradley with it. 
off target with his three. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for the Los Angeles Lakers. He got into double digits for the and one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. Setting the four now for the Pelicans. Their backcourt, Ball and Red. Hart is out there with Hayes. And it's Melly in at the power forward. Kuzma outside. Howard in the post. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Here's Hart. Pass the ball. Back to Hart. Pass to Melly. Fires from 18. No good. Shot missing. And the Lakers going the other way now. 60 seconds off the clock here in the fourth. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. Ball, the pass to Reddit. Here's Hart, guarded by Bradley. Here's Hart. And there's the pass to Melly. It's three pointers off the mark. Floats it up for James. Takes the alley oop pass and dunks it down. I love seeing James soar like an eagle. He's exceptional at rising up quickly for the alley. -oop. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Ball kicks to Hart. And it's sent back by Howard. Howard, one of the league's most feared rim protectors in the league. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Yeah, and it hasn't just been the offensive output. They're putting in the work at the defensive end as well. Here's what the Lakers are going with right now. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Quinn Cook. Caldwell Pope comes in for Kyle Kuzma. And it's Green in for Bradley. Free throw good, LeBron. As well as he's carried himself over the years, I'm amazed by the negativity about LeBron James. I mean, all he's done is eight straight trips to the finals. Sometimes being on top makes you a target. The shot by Redick, no good. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. James finds Davis. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Favors got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Chris, you think about what LeBron's accomplished, not just on the, you know, his activism, his business acumen. Yeah, shut up and dribble. That's what people want him to do, Kevin, but he's not listening, and thank God for that. It's about his power. It threatens some people. For whatever reason, they love to knock you down a pit. And he makes that one. 16 points for Brandon Ingram. Oh, Kevin, it, it seems strange seeing someone Ingram's size handling the pick and roll, but that's why he's unique. Here's James, and LeBron throws it down. I mean, he is tearing the defense apart, and let's face it, they have not brought their A game on that side of the ball. Reddick passes to Williams. Back to Reddick. Inside. Holiday with the three. Rebound the Lakers. Davis has got five rebounds tonight. Here's Caldwell Pope. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Well, you really like seeing Caldwell Pope earning these calls on his shot. I mean, it, it, it makes him that much more difficult to guard. Taking two shots.
first one falls for him. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. JaVale McGee's checked in for Dwight Howard. He hits both from the strike. With the G League growing by leaps and bounds, one is now being brought to Mexico City, Chris. I mean, first of all, let's go back to last season. Did you see how crazy those fans were in Jurassic Park in Toronto? Yeah, they love it. Can you imagine Mexico? Oh, my They'll God. Love it. This you better be believe great. it. Mexico City, yeah. Let's bring everyone in, all the fans. And what I really love is that it's for the home fan base. So when I think of the Toronto Raptors, I think about the city of Toronto. I think about Canada and how it's theirs. And even though we're one league, that team is theirs. And they take that pride on. And it just brings so much more excitement. Can you imagine all the people in Mexico City? Being excited for their team? Oh, I want to be at one of the first games when that happens because I know the crowd is going to be sick. It's going to be crazy. I want to be there. A finish and finish off by Davis. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. Oh, and they're showing no signs of letting up. I love this approach right now. They value each possession. Reddick surveying the D. Holiday with the three. Nailed from three-point land. Drew Holiday. Holiday's got nine points now in just the second half. Now James. Caldwell Pope outside. Passes it to McGee. Outside Green. A nice passing here by Los Angeles. Here's Davis. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got six assists in the game. Carter. Big miscommunication on defense. Alex Crusoe comes in for Green. Rajon Rondo is subbed in for James. Jackson with it, and there's the foul. It'll go on Jared Dudley. That is his first foul of the game. Jackson against Rondo. To the middle. And Ingram the bucket on the assist by Jackson. 18 points for Brandon Ingram. Continuing to pour it on. Ingram's found the groove. Rondo, bounce pass. McGee against Okafor. Now here is McGee. Aldwell Pope dishes to Rondo. Just five on the clock. From deep. It's rebounded by New Orleans. He's done a lot of the little things to help put them in front. I mean, but his offense has not been there for the night. The Lakers on offense. They're on an 18-7 run. Caruso kicks to Rondo. And Chris, whether it's KD or Kyrie, we've seen stars grow irritated. Constant questions about their free agent destinations. I, I would just suggest to them to go back in time. Nothing's new under the sun. Watch guys like Shaq, like myself, or other guys that were free agents. It's a time to talk about it, and, and it's a time not to. And you can even speak about your impending free agency without um, insulting the fans where you're playing and without guessing of maybe where you will go next year I, I just think that you know guys just need to be a little more sensitive with it fans really want to know and if the media is going to ask you the question you got to figure a way how to handle that out uh, delicately well said Anthony Davis he's checked in for the Lakers So he comes up empty, missing both. New Orleans gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. It's Jackson with the drive. Here's Hart. Back to Jackson from past the arc. And it's Anthony Davis with the rebound. Davis has got seven rebounds in the game. And Derek Favors picks up the foul. 
That's his third foul of the game. You know what? You've got to always be in control of your emotions. Los Angeles making a switch here. James is checked in. And New Orleans also making a change. Drew Holiday. He's checked in for Frank Jackson. That's how you play point forward. LeBron is one of the best ever at it. Pelican shooting in this fourth quarter. Pretty dire at 27%. Here's Hart. Down low. There's the steal. And pushing it up. Here's Los Angeles. Davis gets a wide open look. Rebounded by Hart. Well for New Orleans shooting for the game at 42%. Caldwell Pope against Holiday. Picked away. Here's Caruso, guarded by Holiday. Davis kicks to LeBron. LeBron James on the wing. Lays it up off the glass. LeBron's got nine points in the quarter. And they've had assists now on their last three baskets. Holiday, the pass to Ingram. And here's Favors. And along with the association, we've seen the growth of the G League, the WNBA, the 2K League. Chris, which of those have you followed the most? Well, first let me say I should have been drafted by the 2K because I'm really nice. As a matter of fact, anybody <laughs> listening to the sound of my voice, I will beat you in the game that I'm talking on right now. But secondly... I know you will. <laughs> <laughs> I love the WNBA from Lisa Leslie to Cheryl Swoops to my girl Candace Parker. Are you kidding me? The skill set of these ladies? Oh, they have game. And I can't say I follow one the most because even the G League and their all-star game I follow. Right now, it's a great time for Hoops and all three of these leagues. I'm in. Fantastic Paul movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Pass to Ingram. That's tipped and out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. And here's what the schedule for the Lakers looks like. On Wednesday, they'll go up against Devin Booker and the Phoenix Suns. And then on Friday, they'll be facing Drew Holiday and the New Orleans Pelicans. And just look at ahead to what's on tap. There are a lot of winnable games for them, but you can't go into the stretch with that mentality. You've got to focus on what's in front of you and bring it every night. Here's Ingram and slam dunk by Ingram. The length and athleticism on display. Ingram, something special on the move. And so James will bring it up for Los Angeles. Caruso, the pass to Davis. Chris, regarding the overstated pre-draft concerns about Luka Doncic, even as the game goes international, it seemed like many GMs are scared to go all in on European players. And, and, and rightfully so. It's a new area, and if they're not immersed into the culture, it, it may be a little more trepidation on that end. But I would just say, uh, just just look at the really uh, the great stories, uh, whether you're talking about the Vlade Divas or the or the Sabos that came into the game. And even even Dirk Nowitzki. I mean, all of it, all Dirk Nowitzki. Yeah, come on. Porzingis. We got a lot of great players from overseas that have shown us that they can make the way. But the mistake would be is thinking just because someone lives close to him, they would have the game of a Dirk Nowitzki. And, and that's not true. So you need to do your due diligence. But uh, I, I think European players have already proved the type of heart, skill set, and mindset that they come to this game with, which is, which is at the top. Looking at who's out there now for the Lakers. Jared Dudley's checked in for Davis. Troy Daniels comes in for Alex Caruso. Rajon Rondo subbed in for Caldwell Pope. The inbound play works to perfection. You've got to love to get those quick hitters. Pass to Dudley. James wide open. Buries it from three-point range. LeBron's got 30. Well, we know he's confident from outside the arc. I mean, James has no fear pulling the trigger when he's feeling it. And here's Favors. Ingram outside. From the high post. Rebounded by McGee. McGee's got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. And 
And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for the Lakers. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that in men. They, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And so the hard work and effort paying off tonight, putting another win in the books, that'll be win number 27. And as one might have guessed coming into this game, it was indeed another big game tonight for Davis. Oh, he was the alpha dog out there tonight. Totally in charge of this game. No matter what the situation was, he was the one to dictate the action. Here's Okafor. That's good. And it's Jackson with the assist that time. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. Here are the Lakers with the ball. Outside Rondo. There's the pass to Dudley. McGee dishes to James. Lock at six. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Here's Alexander Walker. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's on JaVale McGee. At the line for the Pelicans. Nikhil. Two shots. Shooting two. And the first one drops. And so he hits both. There's 10 seconds left to play in the final quarter. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. It was a tale of two teams tonight. One that was in total control, operating flawlessly. And the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, 